Welcome to Boricua College. Founded in 1974, Boricua College is a private, not-for-profit, liberal arts institution created in response to the educational aspirations of Puerto Ricans, Latinos, and other cultural ethnic groups whose students have been underrepresented in higher education. Boricua College prides itself on being embedded in the neighborhoods of the students it seeks to serve. Boricua College has a unique history as the first private Latino Hispanic college on the U.S. mainland, specifically designed to meet the needs of underrepresented students. Located in New York City, with its first campus in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Williamsburg, a second campus located in the historic Audubon Terrace of Manhattan's Upper West Side, and a third campus in the Melrose South Bronx section of the Bronx. The college typically enrolls its students in programs leading to an Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Science degrees. Our tour begins with our founding college located in Brooklyn's Williamsburg at Grand Puerto Rico Avenue. We begin our tour at the Brooklyn Learning Center, also known as the Mother College, since it was the first to be established in 1973 in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn. This location is a symbol of the embeddedness of the college in the communities it serves. As you enter the building on the first floor, a receptionist greets you. All persons entering the college must sign in and have their temperature taken to comply with COVID protocols. Our admissions department is the first entry point to the college. The Financial Aid Department is the second support service the student encounters. Our academic programming is located on the second floor. Our building space is designed to facilitate our five modes of instruction and ways of learning. Also on the second floor, two unit secretaries respond to the needs of the faculty and students. Our facilitators provide individualized instruction and colloquium small group classes in this area. In the common area, students are encouraged to congregate, work on their modules or logs. Wi-Fi is available and students receive laptops and printers to support their studies. We are now entering the administrative offices. The President and Vice President offices are located in this area. We will now move to the third floor. The unit secretary responds to the needs of the faculty and staff on this floor. Our theoretical and cultural studies classrooms are located in rooms 301 to 304. Practicum workshops are also held in room 304. Also found on the third floor is our Registration, Assessments, and Bursar's Office. Information and Technology, Business Administration Faculty, Institutional Development Office, Higher Education Opportunity Program HEOP Office, Masters in Human Services. The Learning Resource and Reading Room located on the third floor has additional computer and online research materials. Welcome to our main campus located at the historic Audubon Terrace of Manhattan's Upper West Side and Harlem. Boricua College purchased the previously owned building of the American Geographic Society. We have as neighbors the Hispanic Society, previously the American Indian Museum. We're entering the reception area of the Manhattan campus where, following COVID protocols, we sign in and take the temperatures of all staff, students, and guests. We begin our Manhattan tour on the fourth floor where the theoretical and cultural classes are given using the lecture style traditional format. We are now entering room 405 where traditional classes are given including humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences. As we continue onto the third floor, we find full-time faculty colloquium rooms. In these spaces, our facilitators meet with students individually and in group settings. 
facilitators meet with the students to discuss and explore intellectual and effective skills. There are seven of these colloquium rooms. The computer room is where the students find peace and quiet to do their homework and keep up with the demands of the college. Our newest wing on the third floor offers additional space for faculty and student meetings. The second floor is where we will find our student lounge that is used to host cultural events from dance, poetry, and acting. It is also used for faculty and staff meetings. Adjacent to the student lounge, we will find the Bursar's office. Dr. Victor G. Alisea is the Chief Academic Officer of the College and the Chief Executive Officer. This is where we will find his office. The conference room on the second floor is where the President meets with his Executive Council and other senior administrators for important meetings. We're entering the Office of Human Resources. Vice President Francia Castro oversees the Human Resources and Personnel Department. Alongside the Human Resources and Personnel Department, we find the Finance Department. The IT Department Information and Technology, Vice President Irving Ramirez, is in charge of running the management of technology and information in the college. Transitioning to the first floor, we find the Office of Registration and Assessments. Located a few steps away is the Admissions Department, the entry point for students to begin the process of registering for their classes. Across the hall is our library where students gather to conduct research and complete assigned work. Our third campus is located in the South Bronx at Boricua Village. Welcome to Boricua College Bronx Campus. The Bronx Campus building was constructed to our own specifications and with guidance from our president, Dr. Victor G. Alisea, who has extensive experience in planning and who has studied the relationship between space design and behaviors. The building follows the concept of tower on a base with a glass curtain wall around it. It is 14 stories high with usable space of 120,000 square feet. The Boricua College Plaza is an open-air amphitheater used for social and cultural events open to the community. When entering the building, you will find the reception, concierge, and security station. Everyone entering the building must sign the logbook and have the temperature taken and recorded in accordance with COVID protocol. Masks are mandatory. Across from the lobby is the Art Exhibit Hall and the Office of Art in Residence. Local artists can show their work for periods of four to six weeks. The college does not charge any fees to the artist. Exhibit admission is free to the public. Across the exhibit hall is the theater auditorium. It has a seating capacity of 260, including reserved seating for the physically challenged. The theater has state-of-the-art sound and lighting equipment. It also has projection equipment as well as high-speed Wi-Fi. The second floor is home to the administrative student supports units. All of these units are next to each other. The admissions department is spacious and bright. It has room for 10 admissions counselors and the director of admissions. The financial aid department has room for two staff members and the director of financial aid. A computer is available in a private area for students needing to check their financial aid information online. The registration and assessments department has room for one staff member and the director or registrar. The office receives and maintains all student academic assessments and records. The Bursar Department has room for one staff member and the director. This office is responsible for students' financial accounts, receiving payments from students as well as issuing refunds and award access payments. The Library Learning Resources has two locations on this floor. Next to the Bursar is the Reading Room or Sala de Estudio, a quiet area for students to study, conduct research, and work on their assignments. The director or main librarian office is here too. The assistant librarian supervises and serves as a resource person to students, faculty, and staff. We are now entering the Experiential Studies third floor for the generic studies programs. You will find the physical development room is the room students practice dance, aerobics, yoga, karate, and other physical development activities. The two science laboratories are used for biology and chemistry. The two computer rooms are available to students to do homework and online research. The first uses recessed monitors. The second computer lab is available for all students. The college does not charge a technology fee. 
The Art Workshop is an extension of the Art Exhibit Hall found on the main floor. Two rooms for the Medical Assisting Program that are currently in development. The Office of Information Technology has space for three staff members and the Vice President for IT. Welcome to our Faculty Colloquium Room located on the fourth floor. In this room, the entire college faculty meets with the President, Vice Presidents, and Deans every week to discuss the theory and practice of educational facilitation. The Office of Environmental Services is also located on the fourth floor. This office is responsible for security, maintenance, cleaning, and custodial services. Located on the ninth floor, we find the Academic Student Supports Services, GED Free Program, where free review courses for people interested in getting a high school equivalency diploma, tutoring center in math and English, higher education opportunity program, HEOP office. This program is for students that meet certain criteria at the moment of admissions to the college. The 10th floor is where the junior and senior year of academic specialty and graduate programs are offered. The concept, planning, and room distribution is similar to the generic studies floor. The 11th floor is an academic floor conceptualized and planned around Boricua's educational model of five ways of learning. This is a generic studies department floor. Two identical floors are reserved for freshman and sophomore level students in the generic studies program. Nine student colloquium rooms per floor also serve as the assigned facilitator room. Here, each facilitator meets one-on-one -on -one with their assigned students for the individualized instruction course for the development of critical thinking skills. Twice a week, the facilitator meets groups of up to 10 students for the colloquium course for the development of affective skills. There are two additional regular classrooms where the theoretical and cultural courses meet. The Experiential Studies course assists with the development of psychomotor skills at the generic studies level. We are now entering the administrative offices found on the 13th floor. Here you will find Financial Department Director and Staff, Vice President of Human Resources and Personnel Department and Staff, Special Assistant to the President for Institutional Development, Legal Counsel, Chair of the Board of Trustees Office, Board of Trustees Conference Room. The 14th floor is where we find the President and his staff, a small meeting room, and terrace. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Boricua College.